Jeremy, this is, I think, pretty impressive. Yeah. Um, just about presentable. But how long has it taken Smudge to get this to this level? So what we started with, um, started last week, so this will be day four, will be Wednesday, so day four. And they started just with a basic pyramid. So they was learning how to gauge the beds that go on, where their joints go, and generally how to level the bricks and, and work with the material, really. So, yeah, so this will be their fourth day. So it's good for four days on this particular on this particular mo on model. So we then done a small section of walling and then went on to the corner. And now they've gone on to the inside they've used wall ties to tie the inner skin to the outer skin. So they've learnt the basics. It's remarkable in four days. In fact, strictly speaking, less than four days. How many bricks would you say is laying an hour by now? Uh, yeah, we had a little discussion as he was going along and he reckons he's doing about 20 at the moment. But I am promoting quality over quantity. So I want the quality, not the quantity. The quantity will come as, the, as, they, get, as they do it more. 20 an hour is what, about half speed you'd expect? Yeah, I would have thought so, to yeah. To keep the reasonable? Yeah. So you'd be looking 40 to 50, depending yeah. on... So that you could earn a decent living, yeah. So you could eat. So if he's got up to 20 in four days, yep. I mean, um, give him another month or so, he'd be well into the 30s, wouldn't he? Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. But if, you, if you can get him with the right, right brickwork team that can show him um, how to get quicker and just practicing every day, you, you get more confident and you just, you just know what you've got to do. You're just learning the routine and you get to know it every day. So speed will definitely come. So taking a deep breath and asking the question, how long do you think it might take Smudge to actually get himself up to the same level as, say, an apprentice who's just who finished. completed his course. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it was approximately six months, I would have thought. All the ex-service guys are well capable. They, they've been trained and they can, they can work under pressure. So they're keen to learn. Um, and I, I believe they could, they could get up to speed within six months. Could he build a house in six months? With the right team, so with the right team of builders where you're getting the, the, um, the, their experience as well, so you're going to be learning on the job as you're going along, but yes, definitely capable of doing that. Gentlemen, when you say right team, what do you mean exactly with that? So uh, an experienced team that um, not just, let's say, new house builders, so they do a variety of work, so it may be that they're doing fancy corbelling or arches over the windows, that sort of thing, so that you can get as much experience as in the building industry as you can. Because, as you know, new build houses are just today square boxes and sort of like build the corners and run it in. So that they'd pick up quite quickly. But if you wanted to be um, to learn some more of the trade trade specific parts of it, being in with a team that does all that is, will be good. He'll learn quickly. Would you say that um, six months he'd be as good as any other bricklayer on the site? That they might be... As, I'm not talking of an experienced yeah, guy. Yeah, as an apprentice. So as good as an apprentice that's been on, a, on their apprenticeship for three years, I'd say. So how is it then that, that Smudge can get to very likely an apprentice level in six months, whereas it normally takes some years to do it? Um, I believe, like I say... What's his special qualities? Or is it your training? Is it his skills? Is it his time of life? All three of those, all three of those. So I'd like to think, yes, me, me showing him the way and giving him the confidence to do it. From the service that he's come from, he's been trained to be able to get on, overcome and adapt. And yeah, age as well. So with, with that, you, you, get, you, get, um, you get good at doing things or you can overcome and adapt. And especially where they've come from, they, they definitely need to do that. So yeah, all three of those. How quickly do they pick things up? very quickly so maybe only show you once and then they they just need a bit of fine tuning as we're going along so not normally more than once and presumably massively motivated yep. because when they leave here they need to be up to the salary yep. where they were to support a family yep. there's uh, for, for what i've noticed from teaching these guys it's not it's it's not all about the money it's about transitioning from their army career and and using them skills and putting it into Something that will pay them well, um, but then into construction. They won't have a go at construction, so, yeah. And presumably the other thing is, he's not bothering with his um, emails during the job. No, it's true. He knows how to turn up on time. Yep. And uh, 
Give yep. a full day's pay. That's it. So, like I say, the, 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 the army has taught them that, that um, to, to five minutes early is on time, etc. So, yep, don't have any trouble with timekeeping. Have trouble getting a moment at the end of the day. They just want to finish what they're doing. Like, got one behind us at the moment that's still working through lunch to finish a bit that he's doing. He will come and eat, but he's going to finish what he's doing first. So, yeah, very good motivation. They, they work through until they're done. And sometimes it's difficult to get them to go home, but they're uh, keen. And how long have you been doing this with Building Heroes? Um, this is my sixth cohort, and when this one finishes in two weeks' time, it'll be a year. Just any trade that I've shown them, I'm confident they could pick it up and do it if they wish to. So I'm, I'm happy to sort of say, yes, they can do it. They just need some time investment to get the speed up, but they're, they're keen and they're very able, so yes, they can do it. Well, all I can say is, well done, Building Heroes. I know... As we all know, the industry is desperately, desperately short of craft skills. Yep. And I think this is a contribution that um, is very valuable. I just hope that employers get the message and give these guys a good chance. Yep, me too. It's a pleasure to teach them. So I'm, I'm grateful to Building Heroes for letting me teach them. So thank you very much. And thank you for your help. You're welcome. Thank you.